there are five carbon atoms in the in the chain so pent and then the double bond is on the first carbon atom so one in so you 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 must you must be asking uh, why don't we say pent to in because the double bond is also for the second carbon atom not only the first carbon atom well uh, we will always take the the one which is closest so to the uh, to the first and the closest to the first is obviously the first carbon atom in this case and that's why this is pent one in or we and, and uh, we let's do uh, stereoisomerism i forgot to do stereoisomerism so uh, this has a carbon carbon double bond yes but it will still not have any geometric isomers because if you remember the first condition for geometric isomerism was a carbon carbon double bond the second condition was that to each carbon atom to each carbon atom two different groups must be attached in the carbon carbon double bond however you can see over here on the first carbon atom we have two identical groups which are hydrogen atoms and therefore it will not show cis trans isomerism or geometric isomerism so it will not have any geometric isomers now let's make another isomer this time i have moved the double bond over here so you can see if i start numbering let's number all the carbon chains so if you see this time uh, the it's again pent because five carbon atom chain so no no problems there but uh, the carbon carbon double bond is on the second carbon atom it's also on the third but the closest to the first is the second and that the, uh, and therefore it is this is pent to e now if you look at the uh, uh, geometric isomers the, this will have geometric isomers because it has a carbon carbon double bond the first criteria is met and the second criteria which has which is that two different groups should be attached to each carbon atom you can see that to the second carbon atom we have an a hydrogen atom attached from one side and a ch3 group attached from the other side and on this carbon atom we have a hydrogen attached on one side and a ch2 ch3 attached on the other side so each carbon atom is attached to two different groups The, this carbon atom, which is the second one, it's attached to hydrogen and CH3. The third carbon atom, which is this one, is attached to H and CH3, CH2. So each carbon atom has two different groups attached to it, and that's why this will show geometric isomerism. Now, what I have drawn is the trans isomer. You know that geometric isomer isomerism is also called cis trans isomerism. So what I have drawn is actually trans pent to e. This is. trans pent to e trans pent to e now uh, if and the other is the uh, the cis isomer will not look like this it will look like it will look like this the double bond being here so because you can see that the h atoms both are on one side identical sides and the ch3 group and the ch2 ch3 group are on this side so this will become cis pent to e cis pent to e because cis is same side and trans is the other side so cis pent to e in other words this is the e isomer because i also told you that cis trans isomerism is also known as ez isomerism so the trans isomer is called the e isomer and the cis isomer is called the is called the z isomer so this is trans pent to e and cis pent to e now let's move further so we can also have some branched alkenes 1 2 3 4 so in this case you can see that in any case there will be four carbon atoms in the longest chain and therefore uh, this will become but then there is there is uh, an uh, there is a carbon carbon double bond on the first carbon atom so but one in and you can see that there is a methyl group on the third carbon atom so this is 3 methyl but one in so 3 methyl but one in again 
because we have carbon carbon double bond on the terminal carbon atom there will be no cis trans or geometric 